press the button. Uh, uh, come on then. What's going on? I bought this mower as new old stock and from the factory it would have come with a 12 volt, 12 amp hour lead acid battery and an overnight trickle charger. These units were sold with a charger but no battery. As luck would have it, I had a battery from a bike rave project that fit perfectly, but it's heavy and the thing about lead acid batteries is the voltage slowly drops and the chemistry is damaged by discharging below 50% capacity regularly. So let's change this over to use more modern batteries like this rigid 18 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery. The factory setup uses terminal connectors and so the first challenge is getting the pixies out of the battery and into the mower. I had this hacked up rigid flashlight from a previous project a few years ago and it uses a barrel connector. I know from that project that this barrel connector didn't like being shaken around so it wasn't going to work. Besides, it's pretty low current. Instead, I found this battery mount on Amazon. It gets the pixies out into a 30 amp fused 14 gauge lead that I wired up with XT60 connectors. This type of connector is common in the RC car hobby and it's capable of handling 180 amp burst and 60 amp continuous all while enduring the rough ride without coming apart. Another Amazon find, this DC to DC converter drops 15 to 40 volts down to 12 volts and the label says it can deliver 30 amps. Great. I wired that up with XT60 in and out. I'm getting nearly 21 volts straight out of the battery, but with the drop down converter, I'm getting just under 12.2 volts, and so that's perfect. Now, on to the mower. Let's cut the terminals off and wire up the XT60 connector. Wiring's done, so let's go outside and see if it works. I'm going to put my rigid 18 volt battery at its fully charged. That's going to power this voltage converter down to 12 volts pack all this in here and cut the grass I need to do something with these those these are XT60 connectors they are from the RC hobby there put that in there like that this is the old safety but you don't need that when you take the battery of it do you yeah check it out press the button uh, uh, come on then what's going on what happened I don't see any fire I don't see any smoke it's all plugged in right yeah I do charged up. What's going on? That worked great the last time I... I don't know what that's all about, but we'll pack that back up there and we'll I didn't do anything different. Maybe it's something to do with the that thing charging up. Let's push the button again, see what happens. Yeah. Alright. Aside from that little hiccup, this has been working great since the fall of 2022. The runtime is about 30 minutes before the mower shuts down and I need to swap batteries. For the number nerds, I had this power meter hooked up and while there's no minimum or maximum memory, from what I gather, on the 12 volt side the motor pulls about 6 amps at no load and maybe 15 amps in heavier grass. I found other uses for this 18 to 12 volt setup because it works just like a 12 volt car accessory jack. In an 8 day power outage, I powered off 120 volt inverter for the modem and I ran a 12 volt washdown pump for showers and charged our mobile devices using a USB car charger. 
And that's it, it's worked really well for me. The next video I'm gonna make about this particular lawnmower is probably gonna be building a grass catcher because it throws all of the clippings into my shoes and I hate that. If you guys are gonna try this, you're doing it at your own risk. We're dealing with some pretty high current batteries here and if you wire something backwards, you could blow it up. I blew up the inverter the first time. The fuses popped in it because guess what? I wired it backwards. So that's it. If you guys found this video useful, then hit like. And if you want to see what I'm up to next, then hit subscribe. Now, here's the plan. This is a Seaflow portable washdown kit. It's a battery-powered garden hose. So it comes out here to like this connector, I don't know what it's called. But then you plug this in. And that plugs into a cigarette lighter. So I'm going to use my internet setup to do exactly that. Plug it in, stick this end into a bucket of warm water, this end over the shower. Boom! Look at that. We have a hot shower. So I'll boil some water on the propane tank, on the propane uh, thing, fill up a bucket, put that into the hot water this into the shower and I'll be able to rinse my nuts.